So we have a classic example of an error with Prototype 11. A student is trying to modify this so that it works, but they feel a bit of a snag. Any time they run the game, it comes up with an error message. And that message basically says, object already exists at line 713. So how do we go about troubleshooting this kind of error? Well, the first thing you do is you go to line 173 and you make sure that everything is intact. Make object sphere, fruits, fruits value. That all looks normal and unaltered. So if that line is normal and unaltered, the problem must be elsewhere in the program. So what I'm going to do is go all the way to the beginning of the program. I'm going to do a control F. I'm going to type in make object because all the objects we make in this program always begin with make object. So we're going to find, and we're just going to go through, and we're going to have a look at what's going on. So we've got make object there. That's all fine. There's no problem with that. Got another make object. That's normal. And here we've got something a bit erroneous. We've got make object cube 35. Now, you'll notice that with everything else, so if I just go to the beginning of the document again and go through again, you'll see that we have make object. But instead of having a number, we just have this sky ID element. And then we have this ground ID element. And if we look even further up, we have sky ID and ground ID. So why are we doing it this way? Why aren't we just giving it a number? Because, of course, we all know that the objects always have a number to be identified by. And that's simply for ease of memory and management. We have this little function here called object ID. And what this does is generate the next available object number. And it does it by keeping track of everything in the background that's being created and then just grabbing that next ID. So whenever a student does something like this, where they're trying to force an object to exist with a very specific number, it then clashes with other objects that are being made because it hasn't been accounted for by this function. This function will only account for the objects it creates. It will never account for the object that a player creates. So the way of fixing this is to just go in and say, give it a name. So we're going to give this as mystery cube because I don't know um, how it works. So mist cube. And then I'm going to give it object ID. And then we're just going to take this value and we're going to put it here and we're going to put it here. And now we're going to compile and run the game again. And as you can see, the game is now working correctly. And that's fantastic because it means that this cube, which you can see right in the middle of there, can now correspond with everything else that's in the scene as well. And that's how you fix the error. So remember, when creating new objects, using Rapid Game Pro and especially using Prototype 11, you should always use the object ID function in order to get the next object ID value because it tracks everything for you then and does it in a very automatic way. And this means you need to attach it to a variable. And one of the reasons we do this is because it's easy to remember miss cube than cube 35. Cube 35 could mean anything, but miss cube will always mean, in my mind at least, mystery cube. And as you program through, you'll see you'll see fruits.id, you'll see ground.id and sky.id, and they're just much easier to remember. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this.